so guys, I'm Bruce Jr. and we are back with some more Naruto Online and today we're going to be doing a how to build a earth main guide. If you guys want to check out my last previous guides to water main, to wind main, fire main, and lightning main, click that link up there and it'll take you right to those videos if you need help with those mains and building a team. Now today we're going to be just doing earth main. And Earth Main is the guy I started off the game with. I picked Earth Main in the, when I first started playing this game, and he was my character. I leveled up to what level seventy before you could start changing characters. Was it seventy or eighty? One of those levels. So let's get right into this guide. All right. So you start off with this team. You know Naruto, Sakura, Sasuke, and you start off with Earth Main. The good thing while starting off with Earth Main is he's a tank, so you already have a balanced team. When you start off with Earth Main, because he's already ha he's already a tank, Naruto's already a tank, and then you have a healer, and then you have Sasuke for damage in the beginning of the game. To me, this is already a great team. I, I said that you know for each main, but it, for Earth Main, it is really is a pretty good team to start off the game with because it's already everything's already right, you know. But if you when you start wanting to switch characters and unlocking new characters, I started to go for. A stall team with Earth Main because of his abilities. Back then, his abilities were a little bit different because I started the game. They they changed Earth Main so much that his abilities are a little bit different. But this ability right here you will increase his attack and defense every time this unit suffers damage. So he's basically like a curse mark ninja. Every time he suffers damage, you take you increases. So I went for a stall team with Kimi Maro when I fir first start playing the game, and I went Kabuto. I went for a team like this in the beginning of the game when um, I was playing, but once you unlock this, this team becomes um, really good because it gives everybody two standard attacks. So, uh, so Kibi Maro standard attacks twice, Earth Main can standard attack twice, and if you choose to standard attack or you choose to put on Earth Style, this to give myself a shield, and I just stalled out and I had Kibi Maro, I mean I had Kabuto to make Kibi Maro and me stronger by healing us and I think he also I think back then it didn't only hurt curse mark ninjas back then this ability hurt it um just a ninja it just period ninjas took damage or whatever but he still works with Kimaro and he still works because he still get a heal and then if you make it have two auto attacks that means he will heal twice and she will heal twice so it'll be a lot harder to kill these two ninjas this is a good thing about earth man since he's already a tank you can do that team without you know putting less you know other people in there to replace that spot and you can just make them or you can turn them into attack since it does increase his attack you can do something like that not this defense one you could do steel body so they can't chase you and have a standard attack one so you can do damage and pick whatever chase that works with the team and then boom you got a stall team in the beginning of the game which will be hard to kill because when you have defense like this it's a lot harder to kill and Kimi Maro blocks standard attacks with standard attacks is pretty common in the beginning of the game but this will get you up definitely get you up to early mid game if you want to go with a team like this you can replace Kimi Maro with Kidu Maro if you don't want to use Kimi Maro there you know Kidu Maro also does the exact same thing and he applied poison as well and he gets tankier and tankier. I think Kimi Maro is better, but Kidu Maro doesn't need so much chakra to use his mystery. Kimi, Kimi Maro needs 60 chakra, but right? he doesn't. So you can use something like this as a stall team as well. And then when you unlock a better healer, you can just replace Sakura, which you can either put in Tsunade, and if you break through her in the future, she definitely comes a lot better because her healer can get better, or you can just switch her to a damage dealer. Or if you can unlock Sailor Sakura by just, you have to buy her with coupons though. But the free to play one you could get just to get her frags in the collection. This Sakura was makes it more annoying because she also heals and she also put clones on the field that you they have to try to attack through. And if they doesn't at the end of the round, those clones start to heal your team as well. So it becomes extra annoying when you have this Sakura on your team. But this Sakura you really only gonna get for mid game. Early game you still want to use probably regular Sakura or Tsunade. Another team you can use first one is Rock Lee. You definitely want to get Rock Lee in the beginning of the game. And you definitely want to try to break through him. If you can break through Rock Lee, he will become a beast. <laughs> so definitely once you get Rock Lee, just don't stop getting his frags every day. Until you can get him to 
five star fully breakthrough then he'll be unstoppable but in the beginning he's okay Drobo, he's easy to get you can just keep getting his frags to boost up Rock Lee. Earth Main, so you can boost up um, Rock Lee with this, or even this, if he has full health. Um, or is he have, if he has a shield, not full health. If he has a shield on him, so you can just give him that, and give him that, and Rock Lee has a shield. And you have this to make Rock Lee take, attack multiple times, and then you have Robo to buff him up even more. Or you can try to get Yamato, but Yamato is more of mid-game um, getting Yamato. He also does the same thing as buffing Earth Ninjas. He puts up a field barrier and then you could put like Neji in there for some CC so you can put Neji maybe either first or second slot if you want Neji can interrupt people or an acupuncture people which they can't use their mysteries for three rounds if they don't take it off so you can do something like this and have Neji he also does rotation so he has a chance of blocking some standard attacks and then you can just buff them up with these two and Rock Lee will have multiple standard attacks and I think you should break through Neji as well he does have breakthroughs which makes them pretty good um, you can use a team like this or earth team which is pretty darn good I can't wait for Drobo to probably get his breakthroughs and it'll, it'll make this team even more better and you get multiple standard attacks with Neji you at least get two and if you break through him you can get up to five but in the beginning I think you'll be you'll get up to either two or three two or three standard attacks with Rock Lee in the beginning and if you give him you know the buff from from earth main and Drobo has a a standard attack and he has a barrier standard attack which he will standard attack you with his normal one and then when he has his barrier up he'll do this ability that he hits four ninjas with this spear like he has this giant rock and he hits four ninjas with it so he basically has two standard attacks and then you, if you give him the thing he'll have three standard attacks so you can use a team like this you can also use a team that I did a team showcase on my channel just type in team showcase um, and look at the different ninjas I have in a playlist which has Neji Jugo and Jurobo here's another earth team you can use right here the team showcase I have has Yamato in this spot, but you can use Drobo as well. Yamato is better for, you know, he's the late game and helps to chase a little bit more as well. But if you can't get Yamato since he's not late game, but he's mid game, you can use Drobo as a replacement because he's early game and you can get him pretty easily. This is another Earth team you can use. Jugo, if he has shields on him and he uses his mystery in this next round, he'll do big damage to a person and start a combo with knockdown. He generates a shield for all curse mark ninjas based on 50%. So he gets a shield from himself, and then you can give him a shield from Earth Main as well to make him even tankier so he doesn't lose it. Maybe you can put Neji in front of him so they don't sand attack and get rid of it. Because if you get rid of it, his mystery won't go off. So you have to have a shield on him for him to do the mystery, and it'll do some big damage if you have a big shield on him. And you can just do a combo from that and have Acupuncture with Neji and chases and buffs. To Jugo. Jugo is the main one you really trying to you know do the damage with in this team and if you want to place with Yamato you can place with Yamato once you unlock him that's mid game another team you can use in the beginning that's also an earth team is Eno Shikamaru and the third slot you can put mostly any character but I'll put Neji here because he also has more CC which this team We'll have Acupuncture, Immobile, and Chaos. You can use um, this ability on Earth Main once you unlock it. Once it Immobiles, Eno will actually attack that person with a Chaos and Chaos them. So if you have your shield on and you you standard attack somebody and you're in the first slot, you can immediately just Immobile and Chaos somebody right when the ground starts if um, Earth Main you know, is faster and all that stuff. And you have Neji to acupuncture people to stop mysteries. They all stop their people's mysteries with their mystery. Except Eno's is not a prompt, so it won't go off so fast. Um, Shikamaru's is a prompt, so you can use, move Shikamaru here, here. He chases only knockdown. Neji chases high flow to knockdown, so you can do something like high. You do knockdown from Earth Main's mystery that he has. Neji will do knockdown to high flow. Then you can do high flow to knockdown. And then... Uh, Shikamaru will do knockdown immobile and then Eno will chase the immobile and put them to put chase immobile or sleep and put them in chaos so this is another team this is a really annoying team this one takes time and 
precision you have to make sure you keep stopping each character on the team so they can't use it and it will really frustrate your your opponents and they'll definitely want to start to give up <laughs> press that retreat button the team i started to end up with towards the beginning to mid early mid game that i used was this character i got lucky when i start when i started the game um great ninja War akiba was the login ninja so i got lucky to get him early and i used to use him with him with drobo kakazu this is also a team i used to use in the beginning of the game towards the beginning of the game begin on mid game because i started to change my characters around i got lucky to get kiba kiba re um, starts a repost which it was a this team was a repost to knockdown type of team so kiba would do repost and then i'll do something like this at repost I got lucky to get the summoning as well, the the Rhino. Change it. So it'll go, he'll do repost, it'll go repost to knockdown, knockdown to repost, repost to knockdown, knockdown to repost, and then it'll go to Kakazu, which do repost to high float, and then high float to low float. If you get Kakazu, I definitely recommend breakthroughing him too, because he also has breakthroughs, so definitely get his breakthroughs. But def this is the team I'll use, and then this did a pretty good combo. It Kept me going for a little bit um, towards the mid game, but I started to replace this team though later on because it started to fall off. But if you have this team, I definitely recommend using it early and mid game. If you could get Kakazu, if you can't get Kiba, because you won't probably won't have Kiba in the beginning. Let me show you. You just put regular Naruto in that slot where Kiba is, and you can get the same effect. He just won't get the buff from Earth Main and and what's the name back here. So you could do something like this. All right, let's go with the mid game teams. Mid game teams. These are the teams you want to use and try to get these characters so you can start using them around 70 and 80 and stuff. I definitely recommend pulling in the Kage treasures to get him or get all the characters out of the Kage treasure, but him, her, and if you get lucky, Anoki, which you don't need Anoki. You could like you could use Jerobo. Jerobo is a great. He's a free to play barrier ninja, so you can just put a Drobo here if you really can't get a Noki. And, but this will be a super tanky team. You can choose to make Earth Man a tank, or you can choose to make him a damage dealer, because with this team, they already become pretty tanky, because this guy right here is basically Earth Man. He does the same thing Earth Man does. He chases repulse and knockdown. He generates two shields. He chases a knockdown, or he causes a knockdown with his mystery. Um... And at the beginning of the battle, he gives shields to people on the field. Same thing that Earthman does. Everything he has, Earthman already has. So you can try to change Earthman around, do more damage and stuff like that, than you know being a tank for everybody. And then she slows people for two rounds. She can she'll spit on them, and two rounds they'll always be slower than you. So you won't have to worry about having initiative. She'll she'll make you faster than everybody. For the, or at least the two people you covered up. You can cover up to four units, so you can end up covering up the, four, the team. But if they have clones, you can end up blocking some of it, and the clones will get it on them. And Anoki just buffs up everybody. He can interrupt people with his standard attacks, and he can ki instantly kill somebody that's really low with his mystery, and they won't come back to the field. They can't revive themselves. He chases knockdown. He gives a barrier to fire, wind, and earth ninjas, which they are. But like I said, you can replace them with robo or you can replace it with kazekage gara if you get unlucky or not really unlucky but if you don't get anoki and you end up getting kazekage at the same treasure because they both in there you could just replace them with kazekage gara because he also boosts earth ninjas and then bam you have another team and i think he also gives shields and stuff like that i think i'm not sure yeah generates it to two ninjas with 40 percent resistance yeah, so he does also gives a shield as well. So you definitely can make Earth Main more tankier. Or you can even take out her if you want more damage on the team. Now, since you have Gara or Anoki, you can start putting Wind Ninjas in in the team. So you can put like this guy in here, like that. You really don't want um, Akatsuchi in the first slot. You want him in the third or fourth slot to put his, his ninja or his clone in the front of you because he has i think he has the most tankiest clone in the game because he has like that golem guy and it takes it takes a long time to try to kill that dang golem but i think he might have the one of the most tankiest clones but you can start putting out 
Kushi Mario if you can unlock him. Uh, and a Great Ninja War tre Treasure. Joni Minato if you can unlock him as well. He can talk. He takes some coupons. Sage Naruto, which I do recommend you try to get some frags of or get them if you really want to. Not pull them in a the treasure. You can get them for free in the collection. Orochimaru also you can use with this team. You can also um. You also add him to the team. You can add Trader Orochimaru if you're able to unlock him as well or free draw him. When people start dying on your team, <laughs> start using Orochimaru to bring out the Hokages. It will, it will sacrifice them to bring out the Hokages if they get low or if they're dead. Then you have like a second chance at fighting. So I do recommend getting um, Trader Orochimaru if you can or not pull for him, but if you get him in a free draw. Um, that's great because he definitely helps out then you can break through him as well I think you can get his frags. I think he costs moon coins to get his frags, So you still can get him free if you really want to if you don't want to wait for a, a free draw and Also with the earth ninjas you can start adding the uh, higher level earth ninjas in in your team Which I do recommend breaking through Lee if you get the Jinchuriki He also a great ninja. He also great for the stall team that I was talking about which you can add you should either have her already by now, or you should have uh, unlocked this Sakura, which works better because when this Sakura takes damage, her attack goes up. I think that one, this one's also is her attack goes up as well, does it? Every time this unit suffers an attack, it's recover lives in every summoning team. Yes, they both, their combo, their, her attack and combo goes up by 15 and her attack is increased by five. You can use one of these Sakuras if you would like to. You know, throw in Tsunade in there to make a stall t another stall team, which this team is really annoying because if they attack Roshi, they suffer from fire damage as well as you doing damage here and just keeping them super tanky. And they start to do more damage. So you can make, instead of making like a super tanky, you start putting an attack. So his attacks start to go up and you can just stall people out and end up eventually start doing more damage than they could do to you. Uh, other teams, you definitely want to use. You would definitely want to try to get uh, this character right here, which I don't have yet, but I really want to get. It's basically Killer B. Not this Killer B, the Seven Swords Killer B. If you get Seven Swords Killer B, use them, and you have Roshi, Sword, Seven Swords Killer B, and Sage Naruto in the mid game, you can use those three ninjas. He's in the Kage Treasure, and this guy's in the Jinchuriki Treasure. He costs 210 Seal Scrolls, and he, ha he costs. I don't know how many it costs because you have to wait. You have to, there's so many ninjas in there, there's no Pacific Ninja you will get at a certain amount. You have to get lucky and get him early. Killer B, Seven Sword, him, and then put in Sage Naruto or any Jinchuriki you can get. Since you, if you have Roshi, you have other Jinchurikis. Let's go to the Jinchuriki one. So you, if you unlock Sage Naruto, definitely put Sage Naruto. You can pick regular Naruto if you want with this team because they get buffed up by, you know, Killer B, the Seven Sword, if you want. But I recommend either sage naruto or one of these other jinchuriki you can even add this guy if you want if you don't have any of the narutos and you don't want to use normal naruto and you pull the jinchuriki treasure i think you get him out of the same jinchuriki treasure also yagro or no no you get i think you get this jinchuriki out of that treasure and you get yukito out of that treasure so you can use a team like this as well but as you remember it's the seven swords killer b not the samihara killer b Alright guys, let's start talking about the characters you should get towards the late game. Alright, Joni Minato, you definitely should get. He works with any team. He, he works well with win teams, but he works with any team. T-Sweet works well with any team. He doesn't burf. He doesn't burf. He doesn't buff any Earth teams, but still good. Anoki, like I said, go for him. Itachi, Umbo Itachi is pretty good for Earth main. Aruka, you definitely want to get Aruka. You can use him. You could also put Aruka in that Rock Lee team that I said. If you wanted to, if you unlocked Aruka, just put him as the last ninja instead of Neji, and you'll buff up Rock Lee even more to make him do more damage. Definitely want to have him. You should get this pain. Oh, a full pain team also works well with Earth Main. He's one of the best ones to work with a full pain team. So you can use something like this and then fix up the combos to make it chase. He works awesome with pain teams so you can just switch around different pains and figure out what team you want to use and he also can work with the tendo pain team with you have conan 
Tendo Pain, Earth Main, and you can even add Mabui if you want some more Chakra, but he also gives Chakra with his Mystery right here. So you can also do another Pain team like that if you like to use that. Uh, Guy, 8 Gates of Joy you get for free, I think, if you get to a certain amount of Battle Powers or it's a late game. Definitely use him. He, he also gets all, more standard attacks when you give him more standard attacks with Earth Main since he attacks twice already. So he can attack up to, I think, three to four times. Roshi, like I said, get him. If you can unlock Hashirama, you can get him out of Ninja Mission Packs, you know, the Mission Dealer. You can get him out of the Ninja Mission Packs. He works well with Earth Main as well. He boosts up Konoha Ninjas. So they also get a big buff from that. So he basically is like a. A, a Noki if you don't have a Noki, but only Konoha ninjas So Rock Lee get buffed Gara does I recommend getting either regular Gara He doesn't he doesn't give a buff to earth ninjas, but he he does help out a lot because he's super tanky But Kazakage Gara gives buffs to earth ninjas if you I recommend getting the Kazakage Gara for earth main uh, A this team right here as well. I used to use this team. Let me switch that this team also works with Earth Main. This is the first time I, when I first got this team, this is the team I used with Earth Earth Main. Was this, this, and then Earth Main supported. He makes sure that everybody has standard attacks, and he had this so I could take off debuffs from um, Raikage. Like I said, his weakness, his only weak is Raikage is he he gets CC'd. But if you have Earth Main on the field, as long as you don't get CC'd twice. If you have Earth Main on the field, you can activate his extra standard attack, which takes off one layer of debuff. So if somebody acupuncture him, we mobile him, you can activate this. Since he, since Samui's ability is when a, a, a Cloud Ninja attacks, you get Chakra. You'll be able to get to 40 Chakra, so you can use this in the first round and take off the debuff. And then the next round, you can finally use his Mystery. So also, this team works with Lightning Main and Earth Main as well. This is... Just, I use it with Earth Marine more than I use it with Lightning Main, but they both they work for both. All right, ninjas, you should go for Naruto Kurama mode, uh, Susano Sasuke, Rinnegan Sasuke. These Sakuras work well. Uh, if you can get Kakashi Susano, these, this is late game. This is when you've been playing the game for years. These are ninjas you should just go for. Uh, Kisame, Edo Tensei Hiruzen. Toby Rama, Sinju, wherever his name is, <laughs> Edo Tensei Toby Rama, Edo Tensei Hashirama, if you've been pulling in the treasure for a while and you've been saving up or if you use even a spender, he's also great to get go for. Daydora, Edo Tensei Minato, Hokage Minato, all the Minatos are good, so you just choose which one you want or get all three if you want. Gregismo Kakazu is also great, Hidon's great because you could give him extra standard attacks. Uh, his this heat on his standard attack he stabs himself and does damage to the team so if you give him an extra standard attack where earth main he'll do it twice so he works well with earth main Yamato he's earth type and he works well with earth main fifth Hokage summit Madara a you should go for this killer B is this is the killer B I was talking about you should get this killer B this killer B works well with the Jinchurikis and earth main Works well by giving them shields and buffs and making the Jinchurikis tankier. I just see most I see most people using Jinchuriki teams with Earth Main than anybody else. Edo Tensei Atachi, you should go for. I think this Han would be great with Earth Main. They both super tanky and they both get tankier. If you can make a stall team with with him and Earth Main as well, I think that would be super annoying team that you can use. I definitely recommend Kushina. She's annoying and she's great. Masked Man. Madara, Sage of Six Paths, Naruto, maybe even this die because you might can give him multiple to standard attacks and he might be good with Earth Man. I haven't tried him with Earth Man yet, but once I unlock him, I'm definitely going to try him. But that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully, this helps you be able to build some teams with Earth Man or help you figure out, you know, certain persons to replace uh, the teams I gave you. You can just put people in different slots and see if it works for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Before we end this video, make sure you check that link up there at the top where you check out the other guys for Lightning Main, Fire Main, Water Main, and Wind Main. Earth Main was the last main <laughs> for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And also check out my reaction channel at the top if you want to go check out 
my reaction channel which I am reacting to my hero academia over there click that link up there and go check it out before we go let's try to get to 5,000 subscribers that's our goal if you guys enjoy hit that like button if you did not hit that like button anywhere stream on Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays I said Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays like comment and subscribe and I see you in a free day.